and rolling in and in for another workout video today. In today's workout video, we're gonna go ahead and um, address the, the thing about having a stroke and not being able to move your leg as much. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get that. We're gonna go through some leg motions. We're gonna knock out the, take this um, brace thing off right now. Try to get full movement out of this, I can do some squats and do some other exercises that I've been watching on videos. So I'm sure you guys are aware of all those videos that are out there on the internet. I hope so. Just remember, people don't plan to fail. People fail to plan. That's the thing. Like me, I didn't plan to fail either, but I did plan to not fail. But I am where I am because of my situation. I did not plan my future. So we're going to start off today with just a squat. And I already did a little bit of warming up walking around outside with my walker. Yes, AKA Jimmy Walker. Okay. So, we're going to just bring that over here. Like I always say on all my videos, make sure you have your phone nearby just in case you do fall if you're doing all this by yourself with no assistance. Make sure you have water just in case you get dry mouth or something. And make sure you have your safety device nearby. Like I said, your phone, aka Jimmy Walker, wheelchair behind me. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go right here. We're gonna do some like like knee ups, okay? We're gonna try to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're going to build up the strength on, on the weak knee. My, left, my weak side, my paralyzed side is my left side. And my good side is my right side. If you're looking at me, it's going to be opposite, so it's going to be... Oh no, that's what we're going to do it this way. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, remember, I don't have my brace on my knee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to build my strength up on my knee. So I'm going to assist with my walker. And I'm going to put some bearing weight on it. See, this is not a magic trick. If it was a magic trick, I would get magic back into my leg and so start doing things there. Okay, we're gonna get some mobility into this. Okay, let's do some squats. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15, okay? Got 15 of those. And what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna put our hands together, pain position. Well, I wanna do this before, do this before I start my workout. Plus I wanna pray for a little bit. God, please watch out for me, make sure I don't fall on my, my butt, my face, or anything. Thank you, God. Amen. Also, when I'm doing this, because I'm using my left side, it's on the weak side. It always wants to crimp up. It wants to go into like the crampy position. My whole body does that on the left side. So if I put these together and I hold it out, this will help us from cramping up. It says you want to do it like this: twist the wrist and step. Okay. 
I had to do a couple little warm ups, roll the wrist a little bit. Just get some fluid motion going through, okay? Keep the hands together in prayer position. We're gonna do some more squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. And since we're here with our hands together, let's go ahead and do a little bit of rotation on this, okay? Might get a little overall workout. We're gonna go in circles. One, two, three, four, five. Backwards, counter rotation. One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And right now would be the time to go get a little drink of water because like I said, I was outside and um, I didn't realize I was thirsty, so I'm gonna take a little sip of water. Yes, it looks like Coca-Cola, but it's just water in the Coca-Cola thing. Okay, and we're back again. Didn't roll in, but we're okay. And that's Doxy the dog. Hi, Doxy. Come on, go over there, you guys. Go, go outside. Go outside, you guys. Come on, outside. Doxy, go outside. Peewee, outside. Go outside, come on. And this is Dog Entertainment today. And if you want me to, I'll use Marvin and Martin to help me out with, you know, with the, the assistance. Oh, no, Pussy Rock. Please don't let me help you today, bitch. Yes, I think I'm losing that due to the COVID-19 crap. The AKA virus. The AKA hoax of crap. Okay. And today, like I said, we're going to do more light stuff. And what we're going to do right now, we're going to get closer to the couch. And what we're going to do is um, calf raises. Build up the calf strength and stuff. Good for your calves, your your shin part, your front part of your legs. So, toes together as close as you can get safely. And what we want to do here, put the hands together up on the couch. For me, it's going to be the couch. For all you guys, make sure you're safe doing whatever you're doing, okay? Please remember safety first. If you don't feel safe doing it, don't do it. Okay, toe rises. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Okay. Since I'm right here next to my walker, aka Jimmy Walker. Because it's Dino White! Anyways, I'm trying to be funny. I'm trying not to be so serious with all this stupid crap you see on the news. It's just crap. They want you to believe stuff that ain't even fucking true. Sorry about cussing, but it's tired and all. Because of the stupid virus crap, um, can't take any doing any of my poems like I usually do. And it sucks, but it's life, you know? You gotta deal with whatever they give you to share. Because if you ain't trying to progress, you're not gonna move forward in life, so. Just remember, 
Try whatever you can do, okay? Okay, we're gonna go with the, okay, get the knee bent a little bit. Remember, I don't have my brace on. So we're gonna go ahead and do the like, strengthening of my left side with it a little bit sort of bent. One, two, and remember, I don't have anything here. Okay. You don't want to do too many of them because you do not want to hyperextend your knee. That's the whole reason for my brace. Okay, I'm going to get back to my wheelchair for a second. All right. And what we're going to do right now, we're going to go ahead and um, make sure the chair is locked. Always make sure your chair is locked because you will be moving a little bit. Even though it's locked, it's still moving, okay? And I ain't trying to be funny about that because it is what it is. Okay, we're gonna do some, some knee raises. One, two, three. If you need to use your good hand and go behind the, the knee of your bad knee, of your paralyzed knee, and assist it, what you wanna do is hit it behind the knee, and what it does is collapse it. And just give it to get the motion of doing it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And obviously, I don't need no help on the right side, the good side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen. Okay. And now what we're going to do is do leg extension. And, um, Whatever way you can do it, do it, okay? If you need to assist it, go ahead and assist it with your good good hand, okay? But try to do as much as you can with your bad as you can because even moving forward just one percent is gonna be better than not moving forward at all. So just get to get through the motion of just doing it. Okay? So we're gonna sit right here. Not at the edge of the, the chair or whatever you're sitting on. Okay, do these leg extensions. Two, put your hand behind your knee again, to, that way it collapses it to bring it back to like a, the regular position. Two, three, four. And then do something with my hand instead of crimping up. See what I'm talking about, about the crimping thing? See, the more stress I put on my left side, my other body parts want to do the, the curling up effect and stuff. But we're going to try to stop that. Put my hand here and keep it, keep it in a different spot. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Remember, just try to do anything you can. Even if it doesn't feel comfortable, then back down a little bit and just do what makes you feel comfortable, especially if you don't have no assistance by you or an, ass or an assistant. But make sure you're persistent about doing some exercises, though, okay? Because doing something better than doing nothing at all. Because I take a couple of days off doing any kind of exercise, even though I've been doing the standing thing, but that's been getting really boring lately. I'm still trying to build my endurance up with that. Because no matter what, doing something is better than doing nothing. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and do the right side of the good leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Obviously, you can see how high I go up on the good side. And eventually, you learn to keep practicing with your bad side. It's going to eventually get there, but you got to go through it now, slow, slow pace, and it will eventually start progressing. And hopefully, in some matter of time, as long as you keep doing something, keep the motion going, you will get there. But you never want to give up. Don't ever give up. Giving up, like they say, quitter, quitter never win, winner never quit. Remember that. This is not a, this is not a marathon. And it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. The little, a little bit more and more you go at it, the more you will progress to get better. But you gotta remember, always keep trying. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Some days I feel like giving up. I just feel like, what's the point of all this? Am I gonna really get better? But I have got better. I was stuck to 100 cents to my wheelchair. Now look at me. Because I do my leg strengthening exercises. I mean, look how quick I got it. My balance is off right now, but. <laughs> you know, I'm walking with the walker. And then tomorrow, on my other exercise video I'm going to be doing tomorrow, I'm going to be showing you with my AFO brace. I know I talked about putting it on a while back, but it took a while for me to get it. And, um, and I got some new shoes, so they will fit better inside my shoes. All right. The AFO brace will fit better in my shoe. It's only one brace and one shoe that I need to go in. And, um, and I thank you for watching my videos. I hope I give you guys enough value or some knowledge on just trying to do something better than doing nothing because you know what? With this COVID-19 or whatever it's called, called the virus. We call it Cyrus the virus. And, um, you just got to keep moving forward. You can't be just dwelling on watching this effing news. Because you know what? The news can only tell you what they want you to hear. I'm not trying to be no anything. I'm just trying to tell you something that... Watch the news and find out. Get, get the real facts, that's all. How many people are really dying? Yeah. People die every day. Like when I had my stroke, I almost died the night I had my stroke. But you know what, I'm alive, I'm walking, I'm standing up by myself. Before, like when I first started, I couldn't even stand up by myself. I couldn't even do any of this. this if I would even did something like this, I would have fell right over. What would have happened? Somebody would have had to pick me up like they used to. I fell down this morning, because these new shoes, you got good traction on top of the carpet. And um, I tried to move my foot, and I didn't have my walk, I was going to walk, I was getting out of bed. And um, yeah, I fell. But I didn't have my brace on. When I don't have my brace on, I can get up a lot faster. Got my knees up too, like anybody would, like the way I used to get up before if I had tripped on something. Got up, went knee up, put my pressure on my knee, pushed myself up. Because, why? Because I'm doing my leg exercises. Like I said, I'm getting better. You're only gonna get better if you're doing something. Practice makes perfect, they say. I don't know how perfect it's going to get, but you know what? At least I'm getting somewhere, okay? And let's go ahead and do one more set of some calf raises, okay? We'll get over here and hands both together right here, okay? And just remember, always try to stay positive because in a positive state of mind, you will get this and hopefully leave it all behind. Okay. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, those are calf raises. That's going to help with the strength. Like if you're sitting down, like doing transfer and stuff, that will help out with that. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. If, and subscribe to my channel if you guys can, please. And give me some comments or something like that. I'm trying to get better at this, okay, people? Thank you.